say that I was driving down the Pennsylvania Dutch country this weekend for the Amish Quilt Festival. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Great, I'll make the arrangement. What? Go where? The Amish Quilt Festival. No freaking way. Why not? Because it's got the words Amish Quilt and Festival in it. Why don't I just take you to hell? Come on. Sounds like fun. Why should I drive 300 miles to buy their stinking quilts? Have the Amish ever once come up to Boston for a ball game and a beer? No. <laughs> Frankly, I'm hurt. They never take me anywhere. Oh, you seem to remember sending you to the moon on several different occasions. Maybe you made it to the moon. But I splashed down somewhere in Florida. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. I have to get going. Back to Harvard? <laughs> yes, but there's no need to drop the R's. I go to Harvard. Everybody knows that, dear. No need to keep rubbing our noses in it. <laughs> Fabi, good. I need your help with something. Oh, hey, Eddie. Liz, this is Eddie Donovan. Hi. Hey, you look familiar. Aren't you that dancer from down at the Wiggle Room? <laughs> no, I'm a student at Harvard University. Still pounding that drama, are we? <laughs> so what's up, Eddie? I need your help breaking up with this girl I haven't seen. <laughs> Why would you come to Bobby for that? Are you kidding? Everybody goes to Bobby for breakup advice. He's like the breakup king. Really? Did you have a class or something? Oh, I think I'll learn more here. Okay. Just remember what you're about to hear is from a past life. Okay? Past. I get it. So what are we looking at here? Is this girl a clinger, a whiner, a head case, or a dead roach? A dead roach? Every time you turn on a light, she's still there. <laughs> a little bit of all of them, I guess. Okay, Eddie, I'm gonna run you down the A-E-I-O-U of breakup lines, okay? A-E-I-O-U. Can you remember that? Yeah, sure. It spells I-O. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A. Amputation. You're getting one. She'll be out of your hair so fast, it'll make your head spin. E. Extradition. Don't get fancy. Stick to Canada or Mexico. I. Incarceration. O. Out of the country. CIA missions and oil pipeline repair, your best bets. And U. Unspecified sexually transmitted disease. But that is strictly last resort. Word gets out about that, you're not going to be dating for a while. Got it. <laughs> Have either of you ever considered the letter T for truth? <laughs> All right, thanks, Bobby. You're the man. Uh, well, thank you for that little glimpse into your cave. Let me know when you discover fire. <laughs> what? You're still stuck on that quilt thing? How much do I ask, Mace? Huh? This is something I really want to do. So who's stopping you? You expect me to make a trip like that by myself? We're talking Amish and quilts. How freaking dangerous can it be? Dad, can I go home? I don't feel like working today. Hey, that works out perfect, because I don't feel like paying you today. For your information, my boyfriend just dumped me. Stupid Eddie. Eddie? It's not Eddie Donovan. Yeah? Get this. He says he's got to go to Mexico to get an amputation due to some unspecified sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> Truth doesn't even seem to be in Bobby's vocabulary when it comes to women. Dump him. Would you stop saying that? We may not support their engagement, but she still needs to vent. I'm sorry. Please continue. Then dump him. <laughs> Look, if Bobby could lie to other women, then he could lie to me, too. I am totally freaking out about this. What am I supposed to do? And don't say dump him. Then I've got nothing. <laughs> Listen, honey, just because Bobby used subterfuge to extricate himself from a few romantic entanglements does not mean that he's a bad person. Of course it does. How can you possibly say that? Because I've been there in my younger, wilder days. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> There were times when I stretched the truth to spare the feelings of those who were more enamored of me than I was of them. Which was usually the case. 
Really, must you work your former social butterflyhood into every conversation? <laughs> oh, I was so popular. I was the belle of the ball. I had so many guys after me, I had to beat them off with my oboe. <laughs> My problem? At least I didn't have to trick a Guatemalan exchange student into making out with me by telling him it was part of his citizenship test. Yo, Dad, back to me. What am I supposed to do about Bobby? Should I confront him about this? No, honey, just let it go. You have to let someone have his past. <laughs> However e true Hollywood story it may be. You're right. I'll just let it go. I know you're upset about the breakup stuff because you keep flushing the toilet while I'm in the shower. And ow, by the way. Well, you deserve it. Bobby, how could you lie to all those women? I was trying to let them down easy. Easy for who? You? Okay, Miss Manners. How do you break up with a guy? Well, I sent my last boyfriend a four-page handwritten letter outlining the precise reasons why I didn't think we should see each other anymore. You're yanking me, right? No! He had a right to know the truth. It's just, if lying to all of those other women came so easily to you, how do I know you won't lie to me? Because I've changed. Why should I believe that? Because it's true. Or that. What do you want me to do to prove it to you? Round up all my old girlfriends and tell them the truth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then I would know you've really changed. Now you are yanking me. Does this look like my yank face? <laughs> Sorry I lied, and I hope you can forgive me. <sighs> hey, when'd you become a scotch drinker? I can't believe Liz is making him do this. Some people think it's nice when men do things for the women they love. No quilts. I think that drink's neat from now on, Pop. Those ice cubes hurt. I can't believe you're putting yourself through this. Guys lie to girls all the time. It's what we do. Oh, really? Oh, you know, before we marry them. Did you ever lie to me before we were married? You're married now, Pop. You gotta tell the truth. <laughs> Mace? Yeah, okay. Uh, um, maybe one time. Uh... Remember back when we were first going out and I, I told you I had to leave town to go on a fishing trip? Oh, my God. You took Maggie Brennan to Oktoberfest. I knew it. So, what do you say we head down to that quilt festival? Boy, does that sound like fun all of a sudden. I'm going alone. You don't deserve to see the Amish. Fine! Whoa. Who's that? Sherry. Hi. Bobby. Hi. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I'm still volunteering down at St. Catherine's Daycare Center. You're Catholic and you like kids? <laughs> Love kids. Can't wait to have about a hundred of my own. Those kids won't starve. <laughs> Sherry, this is my father. Pop, Sherry O'Brien. O'Brien? You're Irish? To the bone. I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Why don't we take a table? Marry her. What? She's Irish, she's Catholic, she wants lots of kids, she's perfect! <laughs> this is an Irish pub. There's gotta be a priest in here somewhere. Would you give it a rest, Pop? So, why did you want to see me? Well, it's, uh, it's about when we broke up. See, I, um, wasn't actually sent to Kuwait to put out oil fires. No kidding. You knew? Bobby, you once tried to put out a grease fire with tequila. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm, I'm sorry I lied, and I hope you can forgive me. Forget about it. But I've always wondered, why did you break up with me? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, uh, like I tell you, I, I'm engaged now, and, uh, really happy. Engaged? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, congratulations. What's her name? Uh, Liz. 
this. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm really happy for you. Well, look, I better get back to the center. Thanks for being so honest with me. It was really nice seeing you again, Bobby. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Where's the mother of my grandchildren going? <laughs> Knock it off, right? I'm marrying Liz. Fine. But thanks to you, the next branch of our family tree's gonna have fruit on it. Hey, Bobby, guess what? Some really pissed off woman just keyed your precious car. What? Oh, man. Are you sure I was being too cool about this? Guess again. You? But he sold me out, huh? A E I O U and F K D. Uh, Liz, uh, Mr. Tom Collins here to see you. Bobby, what happened? I told the truth. I was kicked, slapped, pepper sprayed, and zapped with a taser. <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> and, and as soon as you take a shower, I'll show you how much. How much? Hi, Liz. Yeah, who are you? I'm the girl that's gonna steal Bobby away from you. <laughs> oh, uh, please, come right in. <laughs> Sherry, what the hell are you doing here? I followed you from the bar. Seeing you again today brought all the old feelings back. I can't fight them. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> You were so sweet and sensitive when you apologized to me. You've really grown up a lot. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he hasn't grown up one bit. I made him apologize. Me. Sherry, I'm marrying Liz. You gotta go, now. Fine. But you and me, we're getting back together. Love you, place. Oh, no. Are you sure you can't stay? We're having lasagna. <laughs> I swear you are like a rat terrier. It's dead, Philip. Stop shaking it. Great. I have a stalker. Happy now? Oh, I'd hardly call her a stalker. Trust me, I know stalkers. <laughs> oh, here we go again. My God, a masochistic cannibal couldn't be more full of himself. I did have stalkers, and I've got the restraining orders to prove it. Yeah, framed, I'm sure. At least I didn't save my perfect attendance records. This is not my fault. Okay, it is my fault, but never mind that now. What are we gonna do about Miss Boobalicious? Nothing, all right? We're gonna ignore her, hope she goes away. But what if she doesn't? You know, maybe if I just talk to her woman to woman... Let it go. Fine. You're right. I'll stop obsessing. But you know, da -da -da -da. I could just... Okay, letting it go. <laughs> Sherry? Hi. Oh, look who's here. Get lost on your way to the preppy blondie perky store? <laughs> <laughs> no. Maddie told me where you worked. So? So, after you dropped by last night, I was just gonna let it go. But then I got worried. Worried? <laughs> About you? <laughs> oh, no. You're so... <laughs> go on. I'm listening. Look, Bobby and I have a rock-solid relationship. Okay, maybe I'm not Irish or Catholic like Bobby. And yes, our socioeconomic and educational backgrounds are very different. And okay, Bobby's pretty upset with me right now, but... But he's mine, so just back off, Missy! You know, I'm so glad you came here today. Really? Yeah. Last night, I thought maybe I went a little nuts. But now it's so obvious that you and Bobby don't belong together. But Bobby and me, we had something special. And when I say special, I mean hot. Hey, what Bobby and I have is plenty hot. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you ever surprised him somewhere when he least expects it? Wearing nothing but a landing strip? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you 
know, and other sexually adventurous stuff as well. Give it up, white bread. You're out of your league. Uh, no, see, look, that's where you're... Whoa. Whoa. Only else. Yeah. Oh, hi, Sherry. No, he's not back yet. Don't give up. You got a lot of guys down here pulling for you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweetie. Bye bye. Man, nothing good has ever come from telling the truth. Can't say as I agree with you, Bobby. I told your mom the truth, and look at me. I'm enjoying the first free weekend of bachelorhood I've had in 25 years of marriage. <laughs> Audrey went to that quilt thing alone, huh? Yep, got the house all to myself. Is it everything they say it is? <laughs> it's more. Get this, this morning I feasted on a breakfast of eggs and beer, watching Sports Center in the buff. My guys were running wild in a free-range chickens. Man, I dreamed of that. I mean, being in the house by myself. I swear. Yeah, life in Bachelorville is pretty damn sweet. Nobody nagging at you to wipe your feet before you come in. No one making you wash up. No smell of pot roast in the oven. No one yelling at a throw pillow's not a napkin. No one to hand you a new roll through the bathroom door. Watch the bar for me. Bring me a quilt. Will do. How can I compete with her? I mean, this girl is on fire, and I'm secondhand smoke. Oh, sweetheart, you are wonderful. You do not have to compete with her. It's beneath you. But then so is Bobby. <laughs> Look, let him go, Liz. Let him run off to a life of lower middle class obscurity where he and Sherry McSlutsky can swill their beer and <laughs> rut like bison. Oh, that's just lovely. <laughs> Lizzie, honey, relationships based on animal attraction and great sex are never the ones that last. <sighs> Just once, I wish you could comfort our daughter without mashing my ego into pulp. I went through one crazy, passionate affair after another until one day something happened that changed my life forever. And do you know what that was? Fleet Week? <laughs> no, I met a smart mouth bundle of neurosis we call you. Oh. <laughs> you see, honey, this is what love is. If you and Bobby have this, you don't need every day to be an X-rated Cirque du Soleil. Exactly. Although I'll never forget that time you surprised me in St. Bart's. That wasn't me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I still have that conch shell. <laughs> um, daughter in the room? <laughs> Oh, sorry, but... Sherry, what are you doing here? I dropped by to help you close up, just like old times. You remember old times, don't you, Bobby? No. I mean, yeah, I remember. Look, that's all they are, okay? Memories. Really great memories. <laughs> Stop that! You gotta go, now. Sorry, my cab just left. Okay, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, like, um, we'll get you another cab. I'm just gonna grab my coat. Whoa. Stay. Well, hello. <laughs> Liz? What are you doing here? I slipped in the back. I wanted to be here for you and you. I mean... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Look, um... You look great. <laughs> it's just, um... I'll be right back. Okay. You're out of here. Hey, I'll never find a cab at this hour. Open your coat. Someone will give you a ride. <laughs> Close up. 
Well, you say you and I take one of these Amish goods up for a test drive. Why not both? I like it the way thou thinkest. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? I have never been so humiliated in my life. You know, it could have been worse. Bobby, your parents just found me bare-assed on their kitchen counter. How could it be any worse? Could have been the health department. <laughs> You coming up? No, I just want to finish this chapter. Okay. 